The Duke and Duchess of Cambridge arrived to a warm welcome at Basildon Sporting Village. Some just couldn't contain their excitement. They were here to meet those who are benefiting from a sports apprenticeship scheme, but it wasn't long before the royal couple got active themselves. Kate showed off her tennis skills in a coaching masterclass delivered by apprentices and graduates, while Prince William pitched himself against some youngsters in javelin throwing. Coach Corps is part of the Royal Foundation created by the couple and the Duke and Duchess of Sussex. It's been running for three years to help empower young people to become the next generation of top sports coaches. For Billy Raymond Mansell, who has a debilitating condition, it's changed his life. Seeing them today, I got a good luck just before they, uh, as, as they were leaving, I got a good luck for the rest of the uh, apprenticeship. I'd carry that with me forever, you know, and that will be part of my inspiration. Definitely to, to, to carry on forward. We've delivered over 200 different coaching courses from first aid to football to hockey to cricket to multi sport. So the young people are walking away with qualifications that enable them to hopefully find future work. Now, sport and education coordinator, so I deal with all the primary schools that we are in uh, uh, delivering PE, which is fantastic. William and Kate watch botcher players before taking part themselves, and Prince William's competitive streak was clear to see. They watched the new generation of gymnasts at the gym where Olympian Max Whitlock trains and spoke to his coach. There's such a depth of young, inspirational, passionate coaches that are given the tools that I never had. I had to learn myself um, coming through and it's really, really exciting. Building on the legacy of the Olympic Games, the aim is to create the next generation of sports coaches who will inspire their communities for many years to come. Serena Sandu, ITV News, Basildon. Well, we saw the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge's competitive streak today and they were clearly having a lot of fun. But there's a serious message behind all of this. It's about empowering young people. And here to tell us a bit more is Gary Laybourne, who is the head of Coach Corps for the Royal Foundation. Gary, thanks for joining us. Awesome. Tell us, this is a project that is close to the royal family's heart, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. Um, we're trying to change lives for obviously our young apprentices that come on to the programme by giving them employment and education in a way that's never been seen before but it's also about ensuring that the communities get better access to sport and physical activity through really relatable young role models and especially here in Essex I mean how successful has it been we've spoken to children here whose lives have been transformed by this yeah it's been huge I mean we've now going into our third year here so two full cohorts of you know 20 apprentices in each so 40 young people that have now got careers their lives back on track in some instances so it's been hugely successful that's brilliant thank you very much for your time Thanks. And Coach Corps is actually doubling its numbers, so it will be rolled out across England, Northern Ireland, Scotland and Wales, creating more of these strong role models that we saw today.